Hello YouTube, I'm Jack Clark, the Gamers Kateer, coming to you with another video. Hello, how are you? So I haven't done a video in a rather long time, I do apologise for this. Yet again, of course, for those of you who are not watching my Facebook, I did a status a while ago saying that I was on holiday and I would do a video soon, and at which point I still didn't do a video, but I'm doing a video now, I do apologise for my hiatus, so to speak. Yes, I went on holiday, basically, thanks for asking, not like you care or anything like that. However, we will not get hold grudges. I'm going to move on and talk about today's card, um, which of course is Cyber Dragon Nova, which of course will be the cover card of the latest structure deck that will be coming out after the Blue Eye structure deck, of course, called Lightning Strike of the Mech Light Dragon. Now, of course, there was some initial information from Lightning Strike of Mech Light Dragon, and it was apparently going to be a Cyber Dragon and like a Battery Man fused deck. And I was so uber excited. I was pumped. I was so tempted to do a video just because I was so excited about the name, but I'm so glad I did, because that's not necessarily what's happening. What is happening is this is going to be a Cyber Dragon based deck, and I'm very disappointed that it's not going to be fun to support. However, let's move on to the actual point of this, is that Cyber Dragons are getting a reboot, so to speak. So, of course, they have got a new boss monster, or I say a new boss monster, in addition to the many other plethora of boss monsters they do have, called Cyber Dragon Nova, which is a rank 5 Xyz monster. So, they have got an Xyz now. Its effect is as follows. First off, it's a light machine, rank 5. It has got 2100 attack and 1600 defense, just like the original Cyber Dragon, so no increase there. However, it's got a free it's got free effects which are rather lovely. Its first effect is that once per turn you can detach an Xyz material from it to then target a Cyber Dragon in your graveyard, special summon it from your graveyard. Um, which is nice, I guess. Um I guess you can't just Detach the Cyber Dragon you used for it to then summon it back because of course you'll probably need a target in the graveyard already to summon it However, that's not really going to be too much of a problem considering a Cyber Dragon in your graveyard In addition to summoning the actual Cyber Dragon, you'll be able to summon Cyber Dragon's way And I'm sure this is only the first of the structure deck cards or the new structure deck cards from the set So they're going to most likely be four more um, and what I'm expecting from one of those is a new incarnation, a new monster which has got its name treated as Cyber Dragon either on the field or in the graveyard or in some way, shape or form. Um, which is rather exciting because it will mean that this card will have other targets and I can't really see Konami not creating another target for this card's effect. But that's its first effect and that's its detach effect. In, in addition has to that, it has an effect that once per turn during evil player's turn, you can banish one Cyber Dragon that you control or that is in your hand and it will gain 2100 attack points until the end phase. Um, this effect is somewhat lackluster, it's not lackluster really. Becoming a 4200 attack point beta for the rest of the turn is really nice, especially considering it can be used during evil player's turn and of course can be chained to the shit, is really quite nice. However, it does banish the Cyber Dragon in question for the cost, which really is not the nicest thing. Um, of course, unless they um, introduce uh, some other support in this structure deck, which of course makes use of banished Cyber Dragons, um, I don't, I'm not quite sure, maybe a parallel world fusion, but for Cyber Dragons maybe, who knows, but that is quite a... Ew. Do you really want to be banishing a Cyber Dragon? Especially considering that you can only banish them if you control them or if they're in their hand. So that's going to be a minus in card advantage for what is essentially keeping your Cyber Nova Dragon, whatever, to stay alive, which will you'll most likely be using it. You're, you can either use it to well, finish your opponent off, but in most likely in the case, you will be using it so it doesn't kill itself because it's only got 2100 attack points. Um, however, that aside, the other support will may or may not make that effect better or worse. So, the last effect, which is probably the most impressive effect of all the three, is that if it is sent from the field to the graveyard, or no, if it's sent to the graveyard by your opponent's card effects, so or not even from the field necessarily, you can special summon one machine type fusion monster from your extra deck. Nice. I was so um, I was apprehensive when they did, of course, say that they were going to be reboosting, uh, well, reinvigorating the Cyber Dragon archetype with a structure deck that they would just give it an Xyz and then it would just focus on the Xyz and, of course, just um, just forget about the fact that they are a fusion archetype. But no, this actually means that it has synergy with the other fusions, and that is very good because, of course, the fusions were a lot harder to summon and really not really quite worth the hassle when you could just go for, I don't know, rank fires, I mean, rank Xyzes and Synchros of course have much better support and of course much better in terms of effort for your reward that you get out of it, unlike a fusion, which are dated. However, the Cyber Dragon fusions are probably the most powerful of mm, arguably all fusions, so being able to summon them so easily as well via its effect is fantastic and it's a very nice trick. Um, and probably the best trick that this card has. Of course, it allows you to basically swarm the field, 
with various cyber dragons, in, including the original one and, of course, its in other incarnations. Yeah, sure, its attack increasing effect is nice, but actually it's probably irrelevant. You want this card to pretty much be destroyed, but what your opponent is going to end up doing is trying in so hard not to get rid of it. Because all it needs to do is just hit the graveyard for its effect to go off, and then at which point you can summon Cyber Twin Dragon or Cyber End Dragon. So you can either have a 4,000 attack point piercer or a 2,800 attack point double attacker. That's pretty damn lovely. And I'm so glad I still have some Cyber Dragon stuff in my binder. Hey! But that's pretty much it, guys. Do tell me what you think about Cyber Dragon Nova and what your thoughts are going to be for the rest of the Lightning Strike of the Mech Light Dragon Structure deck. I'm rather excited. Um, it looks like an awesome deck so far. Um, of course, in the future, I will be doing more videos. I will especially be talking about the new Light Sworn and Gear Gear support, which will be coming out. Um, of course, when some of the um, support is then more properly confirmed, especially the Light Sworn Synchro, I will then do a video of that in the future. However, if you do have ideas for future videos, do say so in the comments down below. It's good to be back from holiday. I've missed you guys. Um, that's pretty much it. But I'm Jack Clark. You go, Musketeer. More videos coming at you soon. But until then, goodbye.